As the summer holidays approach, passengers' rights just got stronger under EU rules for all modes of travel. Time to get familiar with what those rights are. Hello and welcome to People First, the EPP Group's program on issues with impact on people like you. On this program, what you need to know about your rights and how to defend them as an airline passenger, but also riding on Europe's trains, buses, and coaches. Joining us to answer your questions is Mathieu Grosch. He's a member of the European Parliament from Belgium and from the German-speaking region. Uh, you're also the EPP Group's coordinator for passenger rights uh, legislation here at the European Parliament. Mr. Grosch, let's start with a horror story. What was your most frustrating experience as a passenger? One I will never uh, forget in my wife neither it's a few days before my wedding I was stuck in an airport in Finland and after five hours I didn't get any answer where was the problem I didn't know if I could go back the, the day or the day after so uh, this was really a moment where I was really aware to say there we have to change something not only on national level but on European level well there, and, and, and if, if that if these new measures were in place, you maybe wouldn't have had that experience, so and not the suspense that you had. Of course, because normally after 30 minutes now, yeah. you should have a clear information what's happening and what could be uh, what, what could be the answer for the next hours if you can uh, have a rerouting or something like this. Right, well we've got more questions like the one that I posed. and. Uh, let's go to our report, first of all, to describe some more of these measures that have been brought about to strengthen passenger rights. As of March this year, the EU extended passenger rights guarantees to all modes of transportation. The EU expanded travelers' protections to buses and coaches. That's a total of 70 million passengers annually. For planes, trains, and buses, the EU sets down some pretty tough ground rules. Among the 10 basic passenger rights, non-discrimination on the basis of nationality or physical disabilities. That includes accessibility. The right to information on a travel problem no later than 30 minutes after the scheduled time. The right to renounce travel when the trip is disrupted. Any delay over five hours allows the passenger to be reimbursed. It calls for reimbursement of the full ticket price or rerouting in case of overbooking. Scheduled changes could mean a refund of 50% of the full price. There's carrier liability for luggage requiring compensation. The European Commission reports that as a result of those measures over the past eight years, measures that have been modified and approved by the European Parliament, travel in Europe has become more reliable and fair to the passengers. But how many people really know about this? And let's go to our first question. That's going to show you that a lot of people really don't know. Um, hello, my name is Laura Schmal. I'm from Belgium. I would like to know what's happened when I lose my luggage. Well, now, it sounds like there should be a simple answer about this, but sometimes it's not, right? Uh, sometimes it looks a bit complicated, but let's say legislation is very clear. When you lose your, 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 your luggage, as uh, and it is, of course, the problem of, uh, in, in that case, let's say for an airline, then they have to, to give you a compensation, to do it easy, around 1,200 euros. And this is, let's say, quite the same for every mode of transport, with perhaps one small difference if you go into a bus or in a coach and there it gets lost you have to prove what was in because you had no check you no check-in of your luggage whereas in a plane you have to check in and there you have a control here's our next question and it really I've been through this myself and I hope never to be through it again but let's take a look hello my name is Alba I'm from Spain and I would like to know if for example if I miss my plane can I take or receive another ticket for another one? Well, that's a tough one, isn't it? Uh, that's <laughs> a very, very interesting question. Let's be clear, our legislation is uh, built on one principle, who is responsible? And if you are, for instance, what arrives regularly here in Brussels in a traffic jam, and then you miss your plane, of course, you cannot say that then the airline is responsible. Yeah, the airline's so, not going to pay for that. Yes, right. that's why uh, I think the first question you have always to see, to, 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 to put is, who is responsible of the problem I have. If luggage is uh, lost or something like that, this is clear. But if you miss your plane because you perhaps you get up a bit late or you came into a, in a traffic jam, this is really not the problem of uh, 
the problem of the, the, the line is such. But there are cases when you do miss a plane and it's the fault of the airline. Can you, can you discuss that a little bit? Uh, you, then yes, you get yes. reimbursed for that. Yes, of course. You, then you, you can get uh, reimbursed or you, you, you have what we call rerouting. We, they can offer you another, another trip, another, a, a new ticket. I say essentially is to see who is responsible, but uh, this is the, the, the main question. The second thing is, if you accept uh, something else, another ticket, a good advice always is to say, give you a written uh, uh, proposal. Where they say, okay, we propose you a written ticket, a new ticket, because it was our fault, what happens there. Mm -hmm. It can all be, always be helpful afterwards, and every uh, airline, must give you this written, uh, let's say, statement why the problem occurs. We've come a long way in these last eight years of new measures, but there's still, for many people, a long way to go. There's still more measures to do. The European Commission has proposed new measures. Let's take a look at our report on that. The fight for passenger rights remains a work in progress. The European Commission this spring proposed new measures aimed at strengthening those rights. They include greater enforcement of price transparency, they would clarify legal gray areas such as the rights to compensation for long delays, rerouting, connecting flights and mishandled baggage. Passengers should be able to take a return flight even if they miss the outbound flight on the ticket. The Commission proposes that a passenger should be able to correct a misspelt name up to 48 hours before departure. The so-called extraordinary circumstances that exempt airlines from paying compensation can include natural disasters or strikes, but not technical problems. Airlines would have to provide to passengers clear procedures to file complaints, and national enforcement bodies would be pressed to be more vigilant to ensure passengers with grievances are fairly compensated. The measures also include protection for airlines to prevent them from facing excessive costs. Air carriers could seek compensation from third parties held responsible for flight disruptions. There's one item in there that I think a lot of people can relate to. You fill out, you're online, you fill out your, your, for your ticket, and you misspell your name. And then the, it prints out, and you're stuck. But this would allow you to do that within 48 hours of the flight. Information will be one of the big main issues. I think that uh, we would like to have one common uh, folder for a flight where you say this is the cost of a flight, these are the, 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 the fees you have to pay, these are the taxes. Do you, do you, may you take one luggage, may you take two luggage? Yeah. Because yeah. all the questions we hear are around this, this problem. Yeah. And so I, I prepare, you know, uh, every year, I ah, prepare kind a, of kind, a, a, a kind, a kind of, uh, of information. Yeah. Uh, here is, are the, the four modes of transport, right. because these are the, 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 the questions I hear, I would say, every week. And mm -hmm. now, of course, uh, uh, when, we are, when we speak about holidays, it's the first question that comes up. So in general, do you think the Commission is proposing enough or should, be, it, should it be proposing even more? I think they, they, the proposal is a good one. Uh, what I would like is to clarify some aspects. Wow. Because, uh, you know, to have rights but to need a lawyer for every problem you have is not, it's not a solution no, to. Yeah, so most people uh, don't have the money for that. To simplify, to simplify the, 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 the procedure as such and, of course, to, to make aware that the member states have uh, their part to play in it too. Because there you have in every member state, you, you, will, you will have a... You, you have for the moment already, uh, some, somewhere an office, a connecting office, where you can put your question, where you can have some advice, where you can have some information. And this is, you, you find it on the EPP side from transport, you find it on the parliament side from transport, where you can get a lot of answers to all the questions you have. Good, I was going to ask you where, where you find that online. There's, there's a couple of places yeah. you can find it. Now, let's go back to the questions. And one could say that there could be much more done in the way of passenger rights, especially ticket prices you were just talking about. And here is a question relevant to that. Soy Nacho Pastor, soy español, y mi pregunta es por qué si no excedo del peso límite para llevar en cabina, por qué tengo que pagar eh, un precio extra. As you were mentioning, and it, this, this is a battle that is continuing to brew because of um, unbundling of different aspects of, of a ticket price, of the cost of flying, of your bags, they'll charge you extra for this and that and this and that. Um, what's the relief for that? How do you address that? 
and you let, keep them from being hidden costs. Yeah. Let, let's, let's be clear. In, if tomorrow I choose a flight for 10 euros, I must not expect the, the four-star service I could have in other flights. So this is not, I think, the aim of passenger rights. The, the, the first thing is, if I take such a flight, I must know how is the, what is the maximum weight for my luggage? What are the size for my luggage? That I can control it. It must not be hidden on the third or the fifth page of the, the, the ticket you get, uh, even the online ticket. I think this is, that's why I think information, clear information is a good one. The rest is your personal choice too, because uh, you may not expect the, this, uh, that you can perhaps carry three or five luggages. And it's important for the individual caveat emptor to comparison shop and Watch out. Yeah. Um, what about trains? Let's go to a question here about trains. Uh, hi, uh, I'm Clara Rokos. I'm from Belgium. I was born here. And I'd like to know, uh, for example, if my train is cancelled, uh, what kind of rights do I have? Am I, so am I going to have the ticket back? Uh, am I going to have it for the same day or for another day? Once again, this might tell you. But maybe you can this, tell her now. This right? might tell you, but <laughs> let's see, basically for every mode of transport and for the train too, if something is cancelled, you can get the money back you paid. You, you can, then you have another possibility, what we call rerouting, uh, an alternative by train or the, by bus or coach, it depends on the, on the problem. And uh, then uh, it can be different from one mode of transport or the other. But let's be clear, if it is cancelled, you can get the money back, but sometimes it is more important to get there where you want to go instead of have the money back. Sometimes That's why we, yeah. gave, we, 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 we left it open, the two possibilities. And it's still a work in progress, as we see. Mr. Ghosh, thank you very much for joining us and fielding these questions. I hope it makes it clearer for some of us, many of us, traveling during this summer and beyond. That's it for now on People First. Find out more about the activities of the largest political force in Parliament by checking eppgroup.eu. Until next time, thanks for watching.